Hey everybody, this is Simon here, and uh, yeah, today I'd like to share a few things with you, and uh, it's basically that uh, it's basically that there is nothing outside of you. And this, you you know, when you hear this for the first time, it, it can be quite a well, like there's nothing outside of me. I mean, I mean come on, but basically who you are is not bound to a body you are not who you are is not contained within a body and um, there's nothing outside of you is a very it's what they say in A Course in Miracles they say that this is what everybody will have to come to realize in their own time and I yeah, I, I I believe that. Like, if you, I believe that if you look at that statement, there's nothing outside of you. It's a whole. It's a shift. It's a radical shift in what you perceive yourself as. Instead of perceiving yourself as or identifying with a body or a uh, self, self-made self identity or an idea you shift your entire like uh, way of looking at it and you realize that you are existence you are eternity you are eternal and uh, it's it's really when you when you when you really start to realize these things it becomes actually it becomes more and more easy to understand when you start to really experience this i mean you can hear this and it's and can it can sound like wow yeah there's something to that there's something to that it resonates but it's when you actually start to experience that that's when it's really wow that's when it's you start you um your 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 idea of who you are really really transforms and uh yeah it's basically there's nothing outside of you is it's a very uh, radical shift also in because we we live in a society that is very much structured around around becoming something or getting something and um like we don't have to become anything and we don't have to get anything because if there's nothing outside of us well then i am everything there's no separation between the love that you seek and the love that you are so since there's nothing outside of me i am that which i seek I am that which I'm trying to get. So it's actually in letting go of trying to get or gain something or pull something into my reality. It's when I let go of this, that's when it can show up in my life. Whether it be anything, a relationship, money purpose, what not. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, uh, so it's in letting go of trying to achieve or become something or get something or gain something, it's in letting go of these, these things that it becomes obvious that who you are, first of all, doesn't need anything. Who you are is eternal, is immortal. And you don't need to fill who you are is already complete. So you don't have to fill a void with, with an endless list of things, you know. You don't have to, like, fill... Because it, it never stops, you know. Satisfaction never stops. It's just the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. It's when you, when you let go of all of that... Is when you realize that wow, who I am, my 
my being, my like who I am, is eternal spirit. It's it's like my true nature is who I am, and it's not. It's infinite. It's impossible to define. It's impossible to even grasp. It is. Uh, yeah, it's eternal. It's unchangeable. It's changeless. It's timeless. And getting something is a perceptional error because there's nothing outside of us to get. It's in. When it's actually when we, as I've said, let go of trying to get. That's when we can. That's when it becomes easier to connect to that which already is. What we want to get uh, is already here. It's already manifested. And um, yeah, it's it's very much you know. I'm spending some time in nature now, and it's very. It's very obvious that, you know, who I am is not separate from who you are. It's basically, that's what it all comes down to, that, you know, we're all one. It's basically that, it's not, it's not that we're all different parts and together we form the one. That's not really what it is. It's basically that, you know... Your true nature and my true nature is the same true nature. And it's, yeah, it's, uh, everything is happening through us. We are the nothing, I am the nothing, and you are the nothing out of which everything is created. I am the nothing out of which everything is created. And that's, it's, it's when we, let go it like did this to go full full circle with this it's when we let go of trying to achieve something become something get something that's when we can actually abide in the nothingness and it's when we abide in the nothingness we find or realize that we are everything that we have everything um So, yeah, basically, abide in the nothingness. Don't be afraid of the nothingness. Do not be afraid of losing your identity or, or you know, being nobody. Don't be afraid of that, because in that, you find yourself. And it's not a finding anymore. It's not a seeking anymore. It's not a trying to become something or figuring something out anymore. It's a letting go, it's a surrendering, it's a abiding in the nothingness and just allowing everything to arise from that nothingness without clinging to it, without, you know, attack, without holding on to it or pushing it away or anything like that. Just abiding in the nothingness and, oh, that's what, well, these memories coming up, oh, these ideas of... I want to do this today. I want to record a video blog today. Ah, oh, I feel hunger. Things coming up, you know. And just let them arise in in who you are and, and let everything flow through you. Instead because it's when we try to get something or figure something out or become somebody, that's when we hinder when we, we sort of put up a illusion between ourselves and the flow of who we are, but it's it's in it's in dropping all of that. We realize that you know everything we all, everything we would ever desire, is found. It's already, you know, it's already manifested. It's already our true nature. This is what I want to share to with you today. And uh, feel free to comment, and have an amazing day. Thank you for watching.